What's up, y'all? This is MGOVA bringing y'all one of my episodes from my Cleveland Fantasy Draft Association. And my channel started about three or four months ago. I really started uploading three or four months ago. My first upload was actually this game called Limbo. I uploaded some Call of Duty, but I realized that that wasn't really me. That wasn't really, you know, what I was into producing in the long run. So I started uploading more FIFA commentaries, more 2K commentaries. And at this juncture, I'll consider myself a, a sports commentator, pretty much 2K. And if you want to check out my channel, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and, and check out my channel. Maybe maybe you'll like some of the other stuff that I post. And I'd like to thank iPod King Carter for the opportunity to post on this channel. And yeah, so let's get into the gameplay, because I have a really entertaining game for y'all today. I was playing the Bobcats, and they were actually second overall in the league, and I was 15th. So there we go, we got we got Kevin Love right here in the very beginning of the game, hitting three-pointers, taking Pau Gasol down low, and they had a really good post presence in Pau Gasol, and they had, they had Sean Marion on the defensive end of a small forward, they had Vince Carter playing shooting guard, so they were a pretty well-balanced team, kind of hard to beat, especially away from home for me. So Omer Sheik right there with the and one, let's get up boy, and then he got you got Raymond Felton missing that three-pointer, but Tompkins is right there to clean up the mess and dunk it back in. So Darren Collison kicks it out to Ray Allen and make it rain from three, bitch! Oh, uh, Ray Allen makes it rain. And Marshawn Brooks, the rookie, is going to miss that shot, but Omer Sheik is right there for the rebound. So at the end of the second half, I mean the end of the second quarter, you got Ray Allen making that shot, and Kevin Love leading me in scoring with 14 points. So we're taking a seven point lead into the second half against the Charlotte Bobcats. They're second overall in the league. And they're honestly a better team than us. And I was really sub uh, surprised that we were beating them. So you got Raymond Felton hitting that three pointer, giving them a little bit of momentum starting off the second half. You got Vince Carter hitting a three pointer, making it a one point game, forcing me into the timeout. At this point, I was kind of panicking a little bit. I was losing my lead. There you go, you got the lead changes, 10 lead changes, 2 ties, just a really exciting game, but not as much fun for the person playing. There's Kevin Love making the 3 pointer, bringing, my, bringing the game back to a tie game as they actually ended up taking the lead. And in the, in the beginning of the 4th quarter, Ray Allen's able to get that shot to go down. Get that shit out of here! We're going to give it up to Ray Allen, to Darren Collison, and he's going to hit that jumper to tie the game again with five minutes to go in the fourth. You got Darren Collison taking the ball up, passing it off to Ray Allen. Make it rain from three, bitch! Uh, the three-pointer right there in clutch in the clutch time of the game. You got Ray Allen. Get boomed on, young fella. Actually, you're not so young, are you, Vince Carter? You're almost as old as Ray Allen. What am I even talking about? But right here, Kevin Love is going to punish the, the smaller Sean Marion in the post. And he, he shot a hook shot from like half court right there. I don't even know what he was doing, but it still went in. It's all good. And Vince Carter is going to give it to Pau Gasol, and he's going to get the little hop step floater. So if you take a look at the score right now, it's only a two-point game. And I was actually winning the whole game, and Vince Carter is able to tie it with one minute to go. One minute and change. And then I get the turnover. And Kevin Love, with the clutch defensive effort on Raymond Felton, is going to be able to get him to get us back the ball for the chance, for the lead. And I give it to Kevin Love, and he's able to hit the contact shot down low in the post. So you got Raymond Felton giving it to Vince Carter, probably their most clutch offensive player. And he's able to get this sweaty little layup. That was, honestly, that was pretty good defense. I just did not get rewarded for my good defense right there. Really nothing I could have done. I tried my hardest. Nothing I can really say about that. Right here, whoo, Luke Riddenauer comes inches from giving the ball away and ha giving them the chance to take the lead. So right here, Kevin Love, my most valuable player so far this game, makes the shot on Pau Gasol and Andrew Bynum. The two Lakers that play for the Bobcats now in this fantasy draft association. And you got Vince Carter taking the ball and giving it to Andrew Bynum and he's gonna hit the clutch shot to tie the game in the fourth quarter. And I give it to Ray Allen for three for the win. No, it's off. So Sean Marion gets the rebound, gives it to Raymond Felton, takes the ball up the court. And at this point, y'all, I'm panicking. There's only 20 seconds to go. It's a tied game. I'm like, holy shit, holy shit. I gotta play lockdown defense. I do not wanna lose this game. I fought too hard. I've came too far to lose this game. So Sean Marion, top of the key, 
Shot clock starting to run down. Kevin Love's playing defense. He's able to get the shot up, but it's a brick. Loose ball foul. So I get the ball with Omer Sheik. And you already know who I'm giving the ball to. Ray Allen, Mr. Clutch. In this association, we just call him Mr. Clutch because that's exactly what he is. So Ray Allen, 4-3, splash! But was it for the win? With one second to go, they actually get the ball back. And Raymond Felton, 4-3, hits the shot! To send it into overtime. Raymond Felton for three from half court. I don't even know what else to say. This game was so epic. And right here, Raymond Felton taking the ball up the court. The game is tied at 77. Raymond Felton is going to hit that three-pointer to give them a crucial three-point lead in the overtime period. Omer Sheik with a huge offensive rebound for me to give us that energy boost that we need away from home in overtime. Kevin Love going for the Dirk fade. He misses, but who's right there? Omer Sheik with the offensive rebound and the putback layup to give us back the one-point lead. We got Darren Collison giving over to Kevin Love. He's going to drive in for the layup on two defenders. He doesn't even care. He's like, get off me, son. He's going to take that himself. So I'm only up by one point right here. They get the steal. Gasol. Ray Allen's running down the court and gets the clutch defensive effort on Vince Carter. No foul. Vince Carter might have made a case that it should have been, but it was not called. And if the referees don't call it, it ain't a foul, homeboy. So you got Darren Collison right there, taking it around. And Ray Allen with the clutch jump shot right there to give us a three-point lead. So this is a must-make basket for the Bobcats right here. It is still a three-point game. They are losing. And Vince Carter, man, get that shit out of here. What is that weak stuff? That ain't a foul either, homeboy. So I don't know what you're doing bringing that in here. You got Darren Collison right here. 24 seconds to go. I need the dagger. I need the final shot to win this game. To seal the victory. I look to the shot for Kevin Love. I'm looking for Ray Allen, but there's no movement. So Darren Collison's going to take it himself and splash. So I end up winning this game by five points, y'all. I mean, this was just a crazy game. Crazy game. I mean, there was a half-court shot to send it into overtime. Ray Allen hit that three-pointer to, to give us the three-point lead. Just a crazy game. So Kevin Love actually ended up being the player of the game despite Ray Allen's amazing performance as well. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check it out on my channel. I actually have more updated videos of this series on my channel. And I'd like to thank again iPod King Carter for giving me the opportunity to post on his channel. And if you're a commentator also, why don't you try submitting a video to So You Think You Can Commentate. You might actually get featured iPod King Carter is a pretty cool dude, and I think that if you, he actually recognizes your talent, so he'll get the opportunity also. So thanks for watching, y'all. Stay lavish, and peace. I'm out of here.